time for some pretty pictures with Katie. Welcome, Katie. What do you have for us? What's this beautiful image? Yeah, we have some stunning images from October. This first one is a telescopic image from Anthony Perkick, telescope demonstrator at Griffith Observatory. This is NGC 2244, or the Rosette Nebula, on the left. Um, and on the right, when oriented from north to south, it appears like a skull. And this one's from Todd Kunioka. This is from Joshua Tree National Park in August. And another one from Todd, beautiful image. This one is from Red Rock Canyon National Conservation. And some more telescopic images from Anthony Perkick. This one's Betelgeuse. And the Orion Nebula. And then the beautiful Pleiades. And I had to include this image. This one's from Anthony Perkett. He actually took this this morning at sunrise. This is a cloud layer over Los Angeles from Griffith Observatory. Mm, beautiful. Stunning image. Yeah. And then more clouds. This, these are uh, polar stratospheric clouds. This is from December 2019 from Sweden, um, from Euron uh, Strawn. Hopefully I pronounced his name close to correctly. And this one's from him as well. This is the first snow of the season. And this incredible image, this is a transient luminous um, event. This one's called a gigantic jet, which is a type of lightning discharge between thunderstorms and Earth's ionosphere. This uh, traveled about 70 kilometers in less than a second. And these occur over storms. So this is a very powerful storm um, over Puerto Rico where this is captured. And you can see on the right there, tropical storm Peter was also very powerful and active. So this graph is also from Frank Lucena, I believe is how you pronounce his name. And so you can see blue jets emerging from the top of the thunderstorm and red sprite, the difference there is cloud to ground lightning. And this is still a topic of research to um, how these form specifically. So very beautiful images of some jets and sprites. Now onto some space weather, you can see um, Sunspot AR 2882 there. This erupted the morning of October 9th, which produced a very strong solar flare and an earth directed coronal mass ejection. So this is pretty incredible. It's called a halo coronal mass ejection, CME, um, because it appears completely around the sun. And the aurora forecast from that event on October 9th, this is for October 12th, when aurora would appear on earth. You can see more than just the green color there. So that would be a very exciting forecast to view. And then this is from ESA. This video is of the Aurora from October 12th. And this is created um, from an image every minute from the early morning of October 12th. This is an all sky camera in Sweden. Yes, um, with a fisheye lens. So you can see horizon to horizon from straight up. And this is another beautiful image from Sweden of the Aurora. And I love this one because you can see the moon halo on the right. Oh, the ISS also was able to view the Aurora on this day. So they captured some pretty incredible images and we'll end the pretty pictures with these. And a good question is, are the astronauts in the International Space Station protected against these? And the answer is yes, because most solar photons cannot pass through the hull of the space station. And that's our last image. Beautiful Aurora. Wow. Well, thank you so much for those beautiful images, Katie. And folks out there, as always, if you have taken a beautiful picture that's astronomical or even of Earth, Earth, after all, is in space. So if you've got a beautiful image, send it to us, um, send it to our social media, and you can enjoy seeing your picture on All Space Considered.